Hey there, YouTubers and Teak Deck enthusiasts. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Again, my name is Eric and this is Rocky. And today we're here to bring you part two on our series on proper scene preparation. And if you haven't seen part one, be sure to check it out. To recap a little bit, we went over in detail how to professionally and properly prepare your caulk seams. Today, we're gonna be filling those seams with caulking, but not just any caulking, Teak Decking Systems SIS 440. Before we get started, I'd like to share a little bit about our caulking and why it's so well known and respected around the world. Our caulking story starts with nearly 40 years of deck building. When we first started out, we were using the industry's leading caulkings and well, to say the least, we weren't getting the results we wanted. So we knew what we had to do. We embarked on a journey to develop our own caulking, one that met our high standards. We knew we wanted it to be flexible so that as your boat deck moves, so does the caulking and you don't get that separation in the seam. We wanted it to be both UV and chemical resistant so that the powerful rays of the sun didn't destroy it. And we wanted it to have minimal shrinkage so you didn't get that low seam thing. But overall, we wanted it to be easy to work with, unlike some of these two-part systems that require a primer. Well, after many trials, we were able to develop a product that's now known throughout the industry as the professional's choice. This product, which was solely designed for the production of our own teak decks, is now used by boat manufacturers, deck builders, and boat yards around the globe. All right, well, let's get started. What do we got here, Rocky? Well, Eric, there's a few ways that you can fill the caulking seams. For small jobs and, and repairs, you can use a manual cartridge gun. For larger jobs, you can use a sausage gun. Today, we're gonna to be using an air-operated pneumatic gun. The first thing to do is to cut the tip of the cartridge at about a 45 degree angle. Next, you wanna puncture the foil seal with a poker. If the foil does not get fully open, you could have a mess. Next, using a pair of pliers, pinch the tip of the nozzle so that it fits better into the seam. Today our sample panel has two versions. One is tape and the other is untaped. The purpose of the tape is to minimize sanding but is only recommended for smaller areas. Larger projects are to be done with no tape and fully sanded after. Okay, let's begin. Pay close attention as Rocky pulls the tip of the cartridge back. He's making sure that the caulk is crowning up behind the nozzle. This is to ensure that the caulking is getting all the way to the bottom of the seam. Once the seams are filled, Rocky will now take a flexible putty knife to push the caulking further into the seam. This is referred to as spooning or tooling. He now returns the opposite way to remove any excess caulking. This will reduce sanding later. For the tape version, you can either remove the tape immediately or you need to wait until the caulking is completely cured. The panel must sit for a period of time, typically three to five days, depending on your climate. Sanding any sooner will disrupt the curing process. We are now ready to sand. Start with 36 grit sandpaper and finish with 80 grit. Well, that's all for now, folks. We hope today's video helps you at keeping your decks looking beautiful. Join us next time as we tackle the cleaning of your teak. For more information, please visit our website, teakdecking.com, or check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. Bye for now.